this is the composting zone in my house it is a small storeroom kind of a thing so these are my three stacked composting pots and then these are two cat food sacks that i use to store my coffee grounds and uh, these blue trays that you see four of them stacked in a step ladder manner are my worm bins and ahead in the blue bucket i have uh, ready compost uh, there are worms in it as well so i've put some shredded paper in case the worms want to munch on something and this big sack two of them actually they are dried leaves which i need to use from time to time and in the yellow sacks ahead those are my uh, organic soil amendments neem and karanja uh, karanja is also called as called as indian beech this is the first worm bin the one on the top it is ready to be harvested so uh, the right side has already been harvested and i have uh, stored the vermi compost in a sack and the left side i will be harvesting in a day or two as you can see it is ready and this is worm bin number 2 I have just got it out in the balcony so that there is better light. This side is paper and some fabric which they love to have for some reason. And then there are all sort of uh, critters here. And of course the worms now. and i usually end up using my hands for this because it's just easier to check them out that way and this side has snails for some reason so i'm going to use the sluggo on this side and they love potatoes and some potato here which i had put and all the tiny worms the baby worms they collect wherever there is potato as you can see over here the big ones seem to be happy with the other food but wherever there is fresh food uh especially potatoes and musk melons and everything so the worms seem to the tiny worms seem to come first to the food source and i go through the worm bin once a week and if i feel that it has got dry then i will add some water i'll also add some crushed egg shells so this is worm bin number 2 and i just uh, removed the third worm bin and uh, to take it to the balcony and you can see on the floor there are a lot of uh, i think these are black soldier fly larvae so i'm going to pick them up and put them inside the worm bin if i had hens i would have given them as a feast but since i don't i have to just put them in the compost bin i think this is worm bin number 3 which i had harvested last so the worm bin that is harvested goes at the bottom and the one that is ready to harvest stays on top and this is the worm bin under which i found all the black soldier larvae and uh, 
This worm bin contains uh, material from the hot compost pots once it had cooled down. That is why you see a lot of uh, dry material as well. So I will be, and of course there are plenty of snails which I find really annoying. So I'll be putting sluggo in this uh, bin as well. And uh, I'll be putting some water here. I ran out of space in the uh, composting pots. So whenever that happens, I uh, just give the worms uh, the cooled off compost so that I have place to store it. So there are plenty of worms and uh, plenty of snails as well. And now that we are going to go into hot weather, what I am going to do for the worm bins is I am just going to add contents from the uh, hot compost bins once it cools down because uh, if I add fresh food scraps, uh, if there is too much heat it may kill the worms so what I'm going to do is I so that will give me more uh, space to recycle and then I can start storing my compost for the new growing season that will start in August I will have to have enough compost ready uh, to replenish all my containers and uh, for harvesting I will still be using the migration method so that I don't have any loss of worms I will add crushed eggshells uh, to this uh, container as well So I've just put food scraps from my freezer into this worm bin. There's uh, broccoli and potato peels. And I freeze the food scraps because that reduces the fruit fly production. And it also helps in faster breakdown. Because freezing the food scraps breaks down the cell wall. So, and once this thaws, it will break down pretty fast. So maybe in three days or so it will be available uh, to the worms and I will cover this up with uh, some of the uncomposted material from here and also put uh, paper shredded newspaper the mistake that I was doing earlier in my wormy composting was uh, I was only adding a lot of green material I wasn't adding brown material uh, like dried leaves or newspaper and that is why my uh, regular compost uh, showed better results uh, in my plant growth and then suddenly it struck me that okay this is the reason because I'm just adding nitrogen I'm not adding any carbon so now to make the compost more wholesome I add a variety of products uh, so that I'll get better results with my plants in the next growing season and uh, one more thing that I will be adding to all my bins is cow manure. Right now I am out of stock. I have to go and visit my nursery and pick that up. And uh, this is what I do. Composting, wormy composting and adding cow manure. And try to do uh, gardening at an organic level. But I hope you enjoyed the tour of my worm bins. Thank you so much for watching.